Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am on a financial freedom journey with my family. I share all about that and more on my channel. Today I'm doing a different kind of video that I have done for the past, I think two years, which is a vision board video. This is my third year making a vision board. I think it's really fun and inspirational to do these with the addition of creating my goals. So if you guys did not watch my 2024 goals video, I will link that down below so you guys can check that out. And this is just kind of something fun that I do every year to look back on. I am doing it in my master plan planner. So you guys have seen this before. I have gotten one of these every single year. And this is where I do like the bulk of my like personal planning. So there is an entire section here for vision board. So I will be putting it in here and I just basically went on Canva and just got a bunch of pictures, um, just like some fun stuff here that are kind of related to my goals. So again, if you did not watch that video, I will link that for you guys to watch, but just like some fun pictures of kind of how I envision my year going. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this out. I will speed that part up and then I'll come back here to actually create the vision board and talk through that with you guys. Boy, it's been a while since we talked and my head's getting nervous. I can handle this on and off. I can't know. I just gotta know where you are if I want to remain sane. But you go send me text and call. Oh no. You could be running. All right, so I got everything cut out. I actually think I didn't print enough, which is fine because I actually want to have room to write down my goals because I never actually wrote them down anywhere in my planner. Um, when I filmed my 2024 goals video, I just had like a note in my phone, but I do like having them like written down somewhere. So I think I'm going to either leave this whole page or leave like a big blank space on this page to be able to put those in there. So I just wanna encourage you guys to not feel like it needs to be perfect. So if you guys were watching me do this, um, there was a lot of them are like miscolored because my printer is like running out of ink. I didn't realize that until I just sat down to do this and I'm not going to reprint them because that seems like really wasteful. Um, so we're just gonna deal with what we have and that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. It is just something that is fun and don't put too much pressure on yourself to like make it perfect. You don't even need to print anything. You could draw something you could use magazines or pictures that you have whatever you want to do don't feel like it needs to be perfect um, i feel like mine have been increasingly unperfect <laughs> over the last few years which again is just kind of fun like i just feel like it's a fun thing to do it is a way to just be creative and it doesn't need to be anything more than that. It doesn't need to be anything super serious. It's just a fun thing to do. So if you guys watched my goals video, a lot of our goals are related to money. Obviously that is most of what my channel is about. If you guys are new here, um, I talk a lot about money on the internet and our family's journey. And so obviously a lot of my like pictures are related to money and saving but also a lot of them are related to my life outside of that, which is my family and just being healthy. That's like a huge focus of mine this year is health and mental health and physical health and all of it all put together. And so I want my vision board to reflect that. I want it to reflect all the different facets of my life. I'm not just somebody who talks about money on the internet. I am a mom. I am a sister, I'm a friend, I'm all of those really amazing and important things. And yeah, so as much as I talk about money a lot, there's much more to my life than that. And I want to make sure that I'm not getting lost in that. For a long time since becoming a mom, I've been a mom now for, my oldest is nine and a half, so nine and a half years, maybe earlier than that if you count being pregnant. So like 10 years, let's round up. 
And I feel like a lot of my adult life, I've been lost in motherhood and felt like that was like my identity for a long time. And that, that was like just me, you know, like it's such an important part of myself. So I don't want to downgrade. Like obviously being a mom is so important. It's the most important job in the entire world, no matter if you have one child or two or three or eight or whatever. Um, it's such an important job. And so obviously it is important to me, but I am also a person <laughs> and I also need to be a good example for my kids. So I'm just trying to kind of find my way back, right? Like I feel like that's been my life for the last few years is like finding my way back to myself. And one of the things that I used to really enjoy doing is running. I used to run a lot when I was in high school and college before I had my son. And so I kind of have started that journey again. Obviously it's really struggling like a struggle to find the time to do it um, I love to run outside and obviously if you guys have heard my um, stories or my videos lately it's not not great weather running weather outside right now it's like a blizzard so that's been kind of a struggle but it's something that I have really been trying to get into again in 2024 and I actually really started like the end of 2023 but Regardless, um, something that I'm trying to get back into because I feel like it makes me feel like myself and it makes me um, have like something to look forward to and celebrate my body and like just, I don't know, just connect with the outside, right? Like I feel like I'm, I primarily work from home and so I feel like I'm really stuck inside like a lot of the day um, and obviously living in a climate that is not always ideal I feel like that doesn't help either um, so yeah I've just been trying to focus on that and also just exercise in general so like obviously when I can't be running outside I'm doing other things like our peloton which we absolutely love our peloton bike um, it's been really great to have that especially during the winter another thing that I've been doing a lot again um, is reading so that's been something that's really been important to me the last few years is reading trying to get back into like a good system with that and if you guys follow me on Instagram I actually did an ins and outs for 2024 which is kind of like a trendy thing <laughs> that I saw um, on TikTok actually and it's basically like you put a list together of like your things that you want to do in 2024, like your ins and then things that are out for 2024. So things that you're not doing and not focusing on. And one of my outs was screen time, which obviously I'm not going to have no screen time. Like I'm a normal person. I love, I love, I honestly love like sitting on my phone. Like I, it's actually horrible. I wish that I did not love it. But me like rotting on the couch <laughs> is like my favorite thing. So I'm trying really hard in 2024 to read more and be on my phone less. And so far I have been pretty successful. I have read two books so far in 2024, which is a great start. Last year I read 35. So I am trying to I, like ideally I want to read more than that but I'm also being kind of realistic with myself that like that might not happen so we will see I think I set my goal at 20 books um but yeah we'll see how that goes and yeah so that's kind of what I've been focusing on so far this year if you guys are on a journey with me or doing similar things let me know in the comments down below what you're focusing on um I would love to hear about it I don't know where to put this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like really struggling. Okay, I'm gonna actually put it in the middle of this. That's kind of fun. It goes into the other page. Um, anyways, so let me know what you guys are focusing on for 2024. What are some of your, your ins and outs for this year? Obviously, like I said, screen time being completely out is like just not happening. Like again, I work from home on my computer most of the day so I can't eliminate screens completely but I am just trying to be more mindful of like not just sitting and scrolling on Instagram or TikTok for like three hours at a time you know just small little progress <laughs> throughout the year I guess um, and again like I said I've been doing pretty good so far back to running I actually really want to sign up for a race so that's that's what made me think of it is this picture right here um, I would love to do a, a 10k in 2024 at some point I don't know 
if that's going to be possible or not. We're kind of going to see. Um, I need to find one, first of all, and then I also need to decide if I feel like I'm going to have enough time to train for that before it happens. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Um, I would love to run a 10K. The longest race I've ever ran was an 8K, which is like five miles. And so a 10K is like 6.2, I think. So a little bit farther, which I think is pretty cool. I would love to do that this year. Um, I did not make that an official goal of mine just because again, like with so many different factors of like life, I, I didn't want to like set it as a goal because I'm not like a hundred percent set on it. Um, if I don't run a race and I still am like running and you know, doing well with like my physical fitness, I, th I think that's a win still. Like I don't want to demotivate myself by just not like running a race just to run it. Um, but I think it would be fun. So I'm still looking around at that and seeing what that's all about. Seeing if I can find one that's gonna fit with my schedule. Also like just my work schedule and my kids schedule, especially. My son plays baseball and he's got a lot of tournaments in 2024, which most of which we already know about, but there's always ones that pop up. So I don't wanna like also sign up for a race for a weekend and then not be able to go <laughs> because of that. So, all right. I feel like that went really fast. But that is my vision board for this year. Again, I did leave this page blank because I do want to um, actually just have some space to write down my goals. So I'm gonna do that later um, before, I'll do it before I film my next goals video, but I will use this page for that. Um, I just honestly didn't print enough pictures. I thought I would have enough to fill up both pages, but that's okay. So that's all I have for you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just sitting here and chit-chatting with me, getting to know me a little bit more personally, I guess, than I normally show up on the internet. So I love filming these kind of videos. Let me know if you guys are doing a vision board for 2024 or like what are some of your goals? What are your ins and outs? I would just love to chat with you guys in the comments about that and just motivate each other to be better in 2024, be better than we were in 2023. So that's all I have for you guys. Stay tuned for Debt Free Friday on Friday, and I'll talk to you then. Bye, guys.